This exercise is designed to help to uh, change the orientation of your elbow to reduce what's known as a carrying angle. So we're going to set up on our back. We're going to play with getting our early propulsive foot. Let the bumps above our back pockets settle down onto the floor. Our arm's going to be here in front of us. Now, consider from your hand to your elbow to be a segment and then from above your elbow to your shoulder to be a separate segment, we're gonna move these in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna gently reach my arm up just a touch to where I feel my shoulder blade gently come off the ground without a stretch behind it. Now I'm gonna bend my elbow, keeping that reach of my arm so I feel my middle back on the ground. I wanna turn in the segment from my shoulder to just above my elbow without a shrug happening. And now I'm gonna turn my hand and this segment from my elbow down to my hand in the opposite direction. So this one's an external rotation, and this one's an internal rotation. Now maintaining this turned in and this turned out, I'm going to straighten my elbow and stop before I lose that orientation. So if I keep going, I'm going to start to turn my entire arm out and that defeats the purpose. I have my little reach. This is turned in, you can put a hand here to feel it. This is turned out as far as it will go. If that's all the further I can go, great. And we'll just do this for reps. I like to exhale as I extend, inhale as I bring it back down. That's typically the breathing pattern I'll use when I'm doing any kind of extension activity with the arm. Cool. From the top, it looks like this. Arms bent. Little reach. This is turned in without a shrug. This is turned out. Can I extend, keeping that opposite orientation of the upper segment and the lower segment? You could play with putting your hand behind the dumbbell, or your thumb behind the dumbbell, rather. I'll periodically recheck to make sure I'm keeping it. 